That might fuck you up if they're running out, yeah. So see, it doesn't really matter if you're strafing, it doesn't like help you to avoid the bullets. You would be better off just holding the angle, shooting like one bullet off and just leaving. Oh no, you should be one-tapping that hand, you know that, right? Oh, and you see the shadow, wow. Shadows are really, really scuffed here. Well, I'm not taking that fight with an M4, but I guess you are. Let's see how it... Well, it doesn't work out, so... But you're going towards the man, and this is gonna be bad for you. Yeah, there's no such thing as one ways anymore in CS2, right? So you can't really go through that smoke and have advantage. He's gonna have always advantage. Hello gamer! If you're watching my videos and vibing with the coaching style, this is a message for you. So if you're currently stuck at your ELO, whether it's Face It or Premiere, and you want to play like Face It Level 10 Pro and impress your friends, I've got a solution for you. So let me introduce Face It Level 10 Booster. It's a course with seven hours of content packaged up into 73 lessons and chapters. So the only goal of it is to improve you at CS2 as quickly and as easily as possible. If you want to boost your learning curve and become an elite player in CS2, click the first link in the description and find out more. Let's get back to the video. Yo, what's up Marius? Here we go with the demo review. Let's see what you're doing on Ancient. All right. So you're playing towards long. You're strafing a lot, like pressing A and D. That might fuck you up if they're running out, yeah. So see, it doesn't really matter if you're strafing, it doesn't like help you to avoid the bullets. You would be better off just holding the angle, shooting like one bullet off and just leaving. I mean, I know you're probably scared of a P250 picking you. I mean, here you're holding a bit too tight. I'm not sure if you're gonna have the reaction time to sh hit that shot, I bet not. Well, you see, he actually swings wider than you had your crosser. And nice, nice shot. Yeah, this is actually fine. Okay, so you're nading towards ramp. That's not a bad nade. Actually, it does decent damage. You got a bit caught off guard falling back here, but you're repositioning too long. I mean, there's no reason to hold these angles since your teammate is already close up, right? So you should realize that real quick. And you do. Now you're holding cave, this is actually a possibility. No point to make any steps and no point to do this AD. That can kind of fuck you up because, well, and not only you have to worry about your cross replacement, but also about counter strafing. So it doesn't really matter for the T, he doesn't see you differently, like a lot, if you're doing this AD. So. Like, all these movements are, to be honest, unnecessary. Like, you can got, get caught off guard, off guard right now, like, when you're moving like this, when you're doing this, like, thing. Like, right now you could get caught off guard. This is all unnecessary, in my opinion. You had your crosser for a moment on the side, instead of just keep holding cave, right? So you gotta watch out for these kind of things. I think he didn't spot you, actually. Nice shots. Oh no, you should be one-tapping that hand, you know that, right? A nice try. Well, NT, I would have taken my pistol if I were you there, but it's pretty decent damage. Oh, this is quite shaky with the crosshair. Oh, and this is unlucky. You guys weren't aware at all of possibility of someone running up, running up uh, banana, right? So you should, you should have this in mind that someone can run up. Although, of course, like, you were focused on the guy's mid, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so you decided to pick that without any flashes, like anything at all. Generally, if, if, if you're running up like that, you had money for like one flash, you can just throw a flash for yourself, over. So, because like picking that without a flash, I don't see a high chance for you to get those kills, to be honest. If you're playing versus better players even, they, they will be even more aware that someone can push up, especially on these eco rounds. What is this? This is gonna be a smoke, I believe. Where's doors? Let's it, 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 see if it actually does something. Well, so you kind of... In my opinion, you wasted the smoke, you could have a smoke to defend yourself later on. 
Uh, there's no point to throw that smoke just to throw it. The only reason you wanna throw it is if your teammate actually is pushing B ramp and you're flashing for him maybe, or if you are pushing the ramp. Right, right now they just they they saw that you're not pushing through it, and they didn't change anything. Also, you should be calling here to your teammates that nothing is out B. As you can see, your teammate is even here, like in front of B. So, I, I guess, I don't see, hear the communication, but I believe the communication from you guys was not enough. You should be saying, like, smoke long, smoke short, but nothing out, nothing out, nothing out B, you know? Keep saying this, and then your teammates on A wouldn't rotate, so... I don't know if you have been saying this. If you haven't, then you need to start. Whenever you're on a site and there is execute coming in, nobody coming out, you just need to tell smokes here and here, nobody out, watch out for fake, you know? You don't need to add that, but... Oh, and you see the shadow, wow. Shadows are really... Really scuffed here. <clears throat> Getting shot from behind. Here it's already like 2v5, so you'd wanna try to get like a cheeky kill here. <clears throat> Let's see if, see if you manage. And you don't manage. Oh, that's unlucky. Just missing a shot. Oh, let's see what you do on this full buy run. You're mollying, you're mollying quite shallow as well. I see. Which is not something wrong, but... And the smoke is good. I like the smoke. I like the flash here. And taking control. Okay, very nice. This is very good. Uh, taking control of B... Uh, banana? Like, it's very powerful for the CT. If you have control of this shit, you're pretty much set to win the round if you don't do anything stupid or don't do a mistake. Like, if I were you now, I wouldn't be in front of the smoke. I would be to the left of the smoke, like here. You know, I wouldn't want to be in these spots that you're in right now. Yeah, you're kind of in the middle and... Yeah, exactly. And the way... The way that the angle comes out... That they come out of that angle is, is fucked for you because you're kind of standing in the middle of banana. Maybe if you manage to hide in that position, but yeah. There is no reason to walk up like like you just did. Let's see what would happen if you start stood here. You would see that flash. And they would just come out and you had like easy kills like that, right? Before we continue the video, I want to give a quick shout out to my sponsor, Sell Your Skins. If you want to sell your CS2 skins quickly, easily and safely, then check out sellyourskins.com for the link in the description. You can sign in with Steam, click on the skins you want to sell, accept the trade and then you'll receive your money in just a couple minutes. They offer higher prices than other cash out sites and you can get paid through Revolut, bank transfer, PayPal and other various methods. You can also receive up to 5% more cash with the site ranking system. If you use the link in the description and my promo code PNX, you'll get extra 5% as well. Are you AFK a bit here, right? Yeah, so I'm gonna give you a great tip, man, that you never heard. Don't be AFK. No, I'm kidding, of course. Maybe it was something important. But they could be... Actually, they could be running up B, right? That's kind of fucked if you're AFK on B. If you're AFK on A, it's like, okay, maybe it's probably not rushing A, but if you're AFK on B, they could be already running up, right? So it's even more important. Oh. Well, I'm not taking that fight with an M4, but I guess you are. Let's see how it... Well, it doesn't work out, so... This is not a good fight for an M4. It's basically like only your head visible and his head, right? And you're fighting an AK, which hits just you with one shot. I'm not saying you can't get that kill with an M4, it's just way better to do that with an AWP, or don't do that at all with an M4. Especially that you're coming late to the angle as well. Okay. Nice spray down. Mm. Repositioning. That's also good. But you're repositioning like super passive. I don't know if that's not actually too passive. And your teammates are stepping a lot, honestly. The guy in cave is gonna hear that. Oh, and I would not take that angle again. And you are going to peek it? Oh, this is a good flash from your teammate. I like that. The way you pick this, by the way, is kind of like not aware of... Like you kind of like wiggle your crosshair, you're like crouching, you know? 
seems like maybe you had not you had didn't have this in your mind that the guy could be there picking this timing. A nice try though. Yeah, it looks like you kind of don't know what to do here. Oh no, it's actually a good decision to come back. Oh, you left click throw this. Oh, that's not a good flash then. Should be underhand throwing it. You still have a smoke, so you're gonna smoke the door off, right? Yeah, great. That is a good thing to do. In this 5v4, you don't necessarily have to fight for, for the control, but it's also not bad because you have an MP9 and you guys don't have any util at the moment, right? So for later parts of the round, it's gonna be good to, to have control. I mean, you're taking two like long-range fights here. Like, see, this is a long-range fight with an MP9. It's not not a good position for this kind of weapon. Again, here it's kind of like long-range. And here, I think you knew that he was banana. I don't know why you're looking to the right. Nice shot. Not playing a bit passive. Not a bad thing. Oh, and you're expecting temple that quick? Come on, let's be real. You just see your teammates like coming out of donut? Like, do you see it on the radar? Like, look. If your teammates are like here on the radar and they're taking fights, you should not be expecting temple for sure. That, that's a mistake from you and that little timing might cost you like the, the kills actually that you stopped here. And you shouldn't definitely not be flashing, you should be peeking wide and just getting the trace because right now the enemies are 100% focused on your on your enemies in Donut, right? Oh, there is a smoke. I didn't see that smoke. Oh damn, nice shots. Again, Molo is fine. I would right click underhand that flash. Oh, but you're not taking control. The guy is solo with the bomb there will also, like what the hell? Bomb has been planted. Well, as a B player, this rotation is unnecessary, right? Like, you don't need to be rotating as the B player, it's only one guy out there. Not a big deal. And he cannot be in CT yet. Again, it seems like you don't understand the timings of the A players and the Donut player rotating. So you should see this on the radar, right? And right now, if this guy holds here, if this you see this guy on the radar, like in front of the... Like in front of this, holding this line, it means they cannot be here, right? So you should not be scared of these positions. Yeah, this is just a mistake from you. Okay, it's running out, eh? I'm, I mean, it's not the best threat. Oh, and this is a problem. So you're running forward into that angle, see, so you're running with W. Instead of peeking this angle right now, like position your crosser right now and peeking that angle with A and E, you are pressing W, see, you're running forward, and it's such an easy kill if someone is ri running forward at you, that's why it looks like insta. This is cool, just searching for the egos. And the guys are pushing B. Okay, so I'll show you some util for B rush. Because there's like good flashes and we were trying to flash just over, which is not the best idea always. There's like a very nice pop flashes for B rush that you can do for your teammates. Yeah, definitely you should not be trying to spam for the smoke, you should be peeking short. Now. Spamming through the smoke and just standing in the middle of open is, is not the best idea. So just don't stand like and spam while you guys are rushing, right? You should be taking like control.
Yeah, here you just don't expect the guy, and you just don't have your crosshair in the right spot. It's not, not a big problem again. Just, just In general, you should be looking more on the radar and understand more how the angles work. I, this is not something I can tell you, right? I can just tell you, oh, this guy was here on the radar, that means the guy couldn't be there, right? But you need to kind of, like, I'll just go back to this round and show you real quick. Okay, right now, because, like, you're fully swinging out at all of the angles. The guy could be standing in pool, the guy could be standing on this wall, the guy could be peeking from the left, you're super unaware. And now you're peeking pool, and right now, the way the angle works, right? Like, the guy can swing you, the guy behind you is shooting him, right? So I don't know why you're, like, already swinging the deeper angle, since your guy was just fighting with that guy on the wall, right? Does it make sense? You already have your crosser, like, on here, like, he's not here, he's gonna be on the wall fighting your guy, right? You can push up. Yeah, you definitely should be smoking city off more than smoking this. Oh, your teammate is already doing that. And uh, one thing, you definitely don't have to be walking here into donut when you guys have A control versus a low buy. Like, there's no need to go inside donut here. So... I mean, you did it two times already. One time you did it on pistol, but on pistol it was actually fine to go there. The problem is, on pistol you just counter strafed wrong. I mean, you didn't counter strafe at all, you were running into the guy. But here on the on the full buy, you seemed like super unaware that someone can be there. Well, you did, guys didn't meet anyone on A side. Where do you think are they playing? Obviously in Donut, right? If nobody's on A, it's all very obvious that someone is in Donut. Or close to Donut from mid, or somewhere mid where he's gonna rotate to Donut. So you need to watch out for that. No one A means probably Donut. Or probably City. Okay, that's nice, you're taking mid control. That's a nice shot. There was one more guy in the smoke that you're aware of. Nice. Uh, I love your scaling up, although quite unlucky that this guy hit this headshot to be honest. Oh nice try bro, actually good damage. Oh and you win the round because of this, so very nice. And the insta smokes as well, that's what I like too. Pretty good peek. No, you're not making a lot of mistakes, but the mistakes are very subtle. So. Let's see the reason you lost this duo. So you guys have one guy in city, you have donut control and one guy is coming with the bomb A, right? So your job is to ta just take the A side right now. Again, you're running forward into the angle, you were pressing W here. Not only A, but also W and A, so... That's why you lost this duel. If you were just picking with, and also you didn't need to go there. So generally, bro, I see you have this problem with donut where you're over aggressing in donut all the time. Just chill in the donut or don't even go there. That's your weakest uh, point right now. Donut. By the way, you know you can throw that molly without being exposed to mid. This is nice. Yeah, in this scenario, after shooting all these bullets, you probably wanna reload to the left of the smoke. Like, you probably wanna stay here and reload here, you don't wanna be running in that little corridor that's so easy to spam. Like here, this, this little corridor, like, this, this is where people are spamming, they're not gonna be spamming the left side of the, of the wall, right? So if you wanna reload, you can easily reload behind the smoke. Right. Running up. And you're kind of stopping here. If that fucked you up, let's stop. I don't know if that was on purpose or just miscoordinated, but you should not stop there with the Mac 10. Like, whenever you stop with the Mac 10, you're fucked. Yeah, I like the peaks. Oh, you made a stop. Ah, but they won't hear this from this distance. And now you're running out. 
Okay, the, that the, the fact that the guy peeks out like that with a smoke should give you an inkling that maybe someone else is holding this angle. Maybe from temple, maybe from city, maybe somewhere hiding, right? Any Anytime people like peek out like that with their util and hands super unaware, you should have an inkling someone's close or someone was holding this angle from somewhere. Nice. But you still get the kill. So it's pretty... Yeah, that small is quite quick, but it's fine. And well, you're gonna overpick Donut again? Nope. I mean, to be honest, you were quite low HP, right? So what I would do if I were you here, right after killing this guy, pick up the AK. Right now, use the molly for temple and go inside temple and try to be on an, like an off angle somewhere. Like I know there is uh, shadows. Or like I would cross towards temple and be like in, in this like angle, you know? As you can see this guy didn't clear it properly. You're just too much in the open, you know? You have nowhere to hide here when you're holding this angle. Like he's his your whole model, right? And it's so easy for him to get the kill because you're low HP. So you wanna be somewhere where you can actually hide. Or I would just fucking hide behind this box. And literally held like temple. And let my teammate work because he was 100 HP. But nice try. Okay, this is an interesting place. We're just going through the smoke. Kind of curious what is the reason for this. You guys decided to just go contact A and you decided to go through the smoke. And I don't see a reason to do that, to be honest. Your teammates are like super far away. It doesn't really matter if you guys go out of the smoke or not. And you're like looking towards city only. Um, I mean, why not clear the angles, right? You're going towards the man, and this is gonna be bad for you. Yeah, there's no such thing as one ways anymore in CS2, right? So you can't really go through that smoke and have advantage. He's gonna have always advantage. So I would not recommend throwing that kind of a smoke anymore. Yeah, that's nice. Mid take, taking donut again, and again you're dying in donut. Well, the way you should take this, by the way. This, this is good, this is good, and now you should be running to the right side of it, clearing left side of it from the right, like clearing this, but this you should be clearing being here. You should be clearing the left side of Donut being here, and then swinging that guy. So see, like you can clear it out, boom, and then swing. That way you're not exposed to both of this angle and this angle, right? Just remember to switch the walls here in Donut. Yeah, this is unlucky. I think you m we might have missed the smoke or they just broke it. Okay, what is this smoke? I don't even know this. Looks like a city smoke? Or the donut smoke? I need to see where it went. Okay, it went nowhere? Okay, it went nowhere, so... <laughs> well... The flash is good, actually. It's full blind at this guy. I mean... Gets the kills somehow. Nice. You can you can plant like there, right? Where you're not visible to the city and should have actually planted there, like ASAP. This guy expects you now because you're not doing anything for such a long time. Yeah, so you should have planted quite quicker, like here. Right now, it's time to molly. Like after this kill, this molly, donut and plant. And go plant, right? Here. Or even like here. Before we free... I mean, you're rotating a lot for a B player, but I believe this is your guys' plan. Okay, nice shot. I mean, yeah, nice. This is good. Also, your instinct after killing the getting the first kill should be looking to the left side of the smoke. Generally, people will not run in front. As you can see, on the left, the smoke extends kind of, and it's pretty common for people to just run to the right of the smoke, right? Uh, if if you take a POV of this guy, 
if he's going out of the smoke, right, he's not gonna run forward because he would just die to you. He's just gonna run to the right side of the smoke, right, and try to extend out. So you gotta watch out for the smokes and never look like on the front of them. Always like look at the edges of the smoke and in this case on the left edge of the smoke. Dude, I mean this is not your problem, your teammates are dying, right? Maybe actually you should have played more aggro here right now in 3v4, you need to search for something because if you don't search for a kill right now, you guys are pretty much losing this round. I mean, at this point you have to fake it, man. They're not gonna pick you randomly if you don't fake the bomb. Look. Like right now, if you don't touch it and don't fake it, they're not gonna pick you. So, you're wasting such a amount of time. Like, they're just not gonna pick Why would they pick you right now? So you're forgetting about faking the bomb. Like, and you're also walking. Like, you're, you just stepped a shit ton and then you're shifting when you didn't even touch the bomb. Like, there's no way they're gonna pick you here. Okay, so first of all, like, whenever you're pushing B ramp here, what, whatever gun you have, right? Like, you just... Can, for example, first of all, like, this molly, by the way, you can throw it deeper so it actually blocks off door. I don't know if you knew it, but there is a way of throwing this molly like that, so actually you have a guarantee that they're not gonna be peeking you from any of these, like, angles. So a routine you can do, you just throw a molly deeper, then throw a nade, to stop the rush and hold it for a moment, then you can flash like this, right click flash and then peek into it, right? Or peek after the flash and then use the smoke and then like peek more, right? And this the same, like when you have like a 5-7, just buy one flash right click flash, boom and peek, right? The info you need to be saying about that nobody's coming, that's definitely something you need to be doing. Here, I don't see a point of doing this, like, you can just, like, hold the angle. That's gonna be way better for you. This thing, like, doesn't help you. After taking banana control, just take a solid position, so... After you do that, like, just either be, like, here, so you're holding around the smoke, right? Or you can reposition into here. But you should be instantly getting behind this corner here and... Like strafing and out, you should not be here like looking for something. You were like this, like going up for some reason. You kind of zoned out here, I think. Mm, yeah, and on this city side, that's that's pretty much all you need to be doing. Like playing this kind of positions is also good. Behind pillar, right? Ideally, like you have a teammate city that can flash like this for you, but that would be asking too much from the randoms. But if you have a teammate that can flash like this whenever you have problems here and be that's cool. And don't waste your smoke if you're not taking control. Then you can use your smoke later on to create angles for yourself. So if they molly this, like you use your smoke to right click it here, and then you create like angles where you can get like a kill here. You can go around, right? Get a kill here, go back. You just use the smoke to create angles on side because if you don't smoke yourself off, it's so easy. Like people that just smoke cave, uh, smoke short, smoke, smoke short, smoke long, right? You just execute molly here and molly here, and it's a done deal for you if you don't have a smoke to defend yourself. Well, on T side, I mean, you, I didn't see you execute a lot. You just know the insta smokes. That's good. But on mid here, by the way, you can smoke off uh, mid like this. And then go slightly back and walk for uh, run forward and you're gonna molly off full area. But that's a uh, said you can know if you don't wanna use the insta smoke because for example they're using their util and you don't want to waste it and wait for their util to extend. Uh, on B like a very good flash is that you should know you should just go here and you look at this shit on the wall and you aim below it and you flash. And the flash pops right above this totem. And it doesn't blind your teammates, I believe. Yeah, it doesn't blind your teammates, see? So, and they're bl it blinds every other angle. And then you have a smoke here. You can smoke to smoke of CT and you guys can take control. I recommend this util set.
And if you want to know some basic at zone B, I don't know if you have been throwing this. But this is a smoke. And molly. And just a flash over. And you can honestly take B by yourself like that. Like... Then you just have the long to fight. If they don't have AWP, like, you, you're, you're chilling, you know? Also, like, here, I didn't see you throw this ever when you guys were going B. Double click jump for this. Then molly like this. You're just flashing over. And you're going. Well, on A, the plant I meant was here. You would molly this, right, in this clutch. You just kill the guy city. Just come over here and plant. Or you could have mollied City off. But actually, it was better to molly Donut in that situation. And that's pretty much all the mistakes. I mean, when it comes to Donut, just be aware of the angles. This is how you're supposed to clear it, right? So you clear it like this, this angle, and then like you swing towards this angle. If you're clearing like this, right, then you're fucked for, because of this angle. Anyways, man, thanks for watching. Uh, hope this is valuable for you. And yeah, stay in touch, bro. Have a nice day. Bye bye.